Well, for more on the African rugby, CGTN exclusively spoke to Kenyan international winger Jacob OG and started by asking him, does the regional qualification process for the Rugby World Cup give all teams a fair chance of making the finals? And this is what he had to say. Uh, I think so, more so this year, because normally it's been um, broken into tiles, tile one, uh, two, uh, tile one A, one B, one C. But if you look at the qualifiers this year, the World Cup qualifiers, it was like it was merged. There were some teams who were, which were in uh, tile one B or one C that got the chance to play with uh, the tile one A teams like uh, Ivory Coast got the chance. We had uh, Morocco coming through. And, and all those teams. So I think this year's tournament and, and actually being played in one place gave everyone a, a, a chance um, to actually uh, be exposed to the big games and to try and qualify for the World Cup. Because um, normally when you play the tires, you have to be promoted to the tire one, one side so that you can play against each other and maybe the winner takes it all. But given that we were eight teams this time around, I think the depth really helped and uh, it exposed the other teams to uh, the, uh, level, the highest level of rugby in the uh, Gold Cup. And uh, I'm sure uh, they'll feel the impact going uh, to the next season. I think it was a fair chance for everyone to actually make the, the, the cut. I think uh, we actually had a, a good team, even when you're going for the qualifiers. We had uh, really high hopes of, of making it. Unfortunately, we didn't, we didn't uh, make it. Namibia uh, were too strong for us in the day. Oh, they were a bit too tactical for us in the day, and we lost the game. But uh, that wasn't the, just as you've said, it wasn't the, the end of, of, of the tournament because we still have the repertoire to play. And uh, every team prepares to win. Uh, every team prepares to win. Simbas are not an exception. We actually wanted to qualify through France, and we believed we were going to qualify. And coming in short in France, um, we just gave us, a, a, gave us another opportunity to, to play in the repertoire in, in November. So I think um, uh, it all depends on the preparations we have towards the, in the build-up towards the, the, the repertoire. And um, I think as a, as a unit, we had built something very strong and something very, very good. And uh, we, had, we have so many young players coming in, so many talented players coming in. And uh, I think if we prepare well before November, will be in a very uh, strong position to try and, and qualify through the repertoire. We're talking about rugby, South Africa has been playing um, um, pro rugby for the longest time. This shows that they have, uh, they have, they have many players being exposed. And uh, if you look at their structure, their uh, rugby structure, it, come, it starts with the age grade structure, which is very well funded. That's actually one of the biggest points. South Africa rugby is funded through all the structures. Age grade coming up to under nines, under tens. Then they have the small tournaments, under fourteens. Then you come to Craven Week, which is in high school and, and colleges. You come to all those tournaments coming up. And their leagues have like very many tiers. And they're all very competitive leagues, like the one we played uh, with the Simbas just the other, the other time. And the corporate world has actually invested a lot in, in rugby. I think that's where um, we might be lacking a bit because the corporate backing in sports and maybe rugby in Kenya in general is just lacking. People usually say rugby builds character and if you are a, mod, a play, person playing rugby uh, and you are a role model to someone else, like a, a younger kid coming through, they are going to see that in you. They are going to see the the character in you, the, the determination, the hard work you put in. Even if they'll never, they won't make it uh, in rugby as you, or even if you're not the best rugby player at the moment uh, in the country or in the team, so long as you, you can exude that kind of, of personality to the up-and-coming kids or the people or the fans looking in, uh, uh, seeing you play, I think that's what fuels the, the, the hunger or the, the passion for rugby.